Amber, before Durham Police Chief Patrice Andrews presented the department's 2022 crime report to the city council, she started by saying it's hard to celebrate or even be happy to report the overall decrease in violent crime, knowing that young lives were lost. I am concerned about the gun violence and the fact that these kids are getting younger and younger and the trauma that was expressed by these kids. You know, I mean, you, you still have to remember they're just kids. They're still just kids. So that's what keeps me up at night. It's a lot of things. The report comes on the heels of a double shooting two weeks ago when two Hillside High School students were shot and one died. And overall, the city of Durham's violent crime rate fell 10% in 2022, namely in homicide and aggravated assault. There were increases in rape and robbery numbers and in motor vehicle thefts. Although larcenies are down, Chief Andrew says they're continuing to see vehicles where firearms are stolen and firearms getting into the wrong hands, especially young people, has gun violence advocates like Karen Heldman concerned. We know that a lot of the guns that wind up in the hands of minors come from the home and largely the guns that are used that are brought to school are brought from the home. And so we'll have more from Chief Andrews on this crime report, including how involved young people are in crime coming up at five reporting in Durham, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Cindy Bay on that mixed bag of crime news over at Durham City Hall. Cindy, thank you.